Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have a really special video today. I'll be sharing my fall and winter petite outerwear collection. So I have, I believe, nine different pieces to share with you guys. And I want to point out, I don't want this video to give anybody the impression that you need every single one of these pieces all of these outerwear pieces I purchased throughout multiple years so it takes time to build this many pieces and I feel like all of these that I'm sharing today are petite friendly and a lot of them are in a size petite as always I'll have everything linked in the description box for you guys if you want to check out anything I always write down my size and measurements I also write down what size I'm wearing in each piece so that way you can use that as a reference point in case you're interested in any of the pieces and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and get started so let's start with the most popular outerwear pieces for fall and winter time which are camel coats or wool blended coats these types of coats are functional because they will keep you very warm and they are very stylish at the same time so i noticed that these are the ones i wear so often so i have three longer length ones i'll start with the longer length ones because i feel like for petites it's really hard to find this kind of length that'll work for our body type. These are my favorite ones. So we have the Abercrombie Dad Coat, we have the Handmade Wool Coat by Mango, and then we have the Uniqlo Wool Coat. So three different brands, they have different fits from each other. So let's start off with the Mango Handmade Coat and the Uniqlo Wool Coat. So these are both wool blended coats. These are longer in length, so they are very, very, very similar to each other. So I would say the Mango one is the the longest length this is right below my calves I'm five foot for example and this is like more of like a top coat so it doesn't have a lining on the inside it's thinner really drapey the fabric of it is very smooth and very soft and what I've noticed for a black wool blended coat I don't get lint on it which is really strange I rarely have to lint roll this coat and it doesn't catch lint very easily which is amazing how I typically wear this coat is I'll tie it in the back because this is just more flattering for a petite body Body type and the lapel on the black wool coat is not as wide the end of it hits at my natural waistline which I think is very flattering if you can find an outerwear piece that does that for you it doesn't have any buttons or anything like that I love the looser fitting sleeves because I can really layer with it so I'm wearing a size extra extra small I do recommend if you are petite definitely go down a size because it does run quite large now the Uniqlo wool blended coat in this camel color is so similar but I would say the fabric is a little bit thicker comparing it to the mango version and the lapels on this one are a lot wider it also has a button closure around the waistline and it also comes with a belt which I do tie it in the back as well now I would say this is pretty close to feeling like a top coat but it is a little bit thicker also is very drapey like the mango one so they're both very similar it just depends on what what you're looking for also the uniqlo one the length of it is around mid calf so it is around two inches shorter in length comparing it to the mango version so i'm comparing these two side by side because they are very similar to each other the price point is like a 60 dollar difference the uniqlo one is cheaper but they're very similar i haven't gotten any pilling on them we'll see if they do get pilling over time but as far as right now i haven't gotten that yet which is really nice they don't really catch lint very easily which is amazing then here's the Abercrombie dad coat so this definitely fits a lot different than the Uniqlo and the mango one this one is definitely more fitted more structured I've had this for three years now and I have to say I really wish I went up a size in this so I'm wearing this in a extra extra small petite and I can't really layer thick things underneath it how you see it's styled here is just with a thinner turtleneck sweater this is literally as thick as I can go so it's usually I can wear like bodysuits t-shirts really thin sweaters with it and I'll be fine but anything thicker than that I feel like a stuffed sausage so it just won't work so if you are interested in this coat I definitely recommend go up a regular size from your normal with Abercrombie this I've noticed after three years it does get some pilling but it comes off really easily with a a fabric shaver and I probably fabric shaved it maybe two or three times in the course of three years so I think it's still a really great good quality coat even having to do that uh, the length of it is around the length a little bit above so I think it's a really flattering length for petite and the structure of it just makes it look like it fits you really well because I mean essentially it does then this has to be my all-time favorite trench coat I've tried 
in the course of probably like three years, around three years. This is the Banana Republic just classic trench coat. I have this in a size extra, extra small petite. So this comes in a petite, which is amazing because the length is perfection. The sleeve length is great. And the quality of this is incredible. You'll notice the price point is quite a bit, but if you were to buy only one trench coat, classic color, have it be this one, you will have this in your wardrobe forever. I love this color. It's kind of just like a medium chocolatey brown color. And this is around knee length as well. It has uh, really dark brown buttons, which is beautiful. And it has a lining on the inside as well, uh, which is actually really beautiful. It's in like a map print. So it looks really cool. Kind of has that safari vibe to it, which I really like. What I also love about this trench coat is that it's thick enough to layer for the winter time. Usually you don't get that with trench coats, but this one, if you go up a size, you can wear like thicker knits underneath it. So you can wear this for fall and winter time, and you can also transition this into springtime. So this is a fantastic staple for petite, especially since it works for most seasons out of the year. And then I have this wool blended coat from Mango. This one constantly goes in and out of stock, so I will link it and um, if it's not in stock in your size yet, you can always notify, you get the email notification when it comes back and, uh, or just keep an eye on it. But I have it in this beautiful taupe color. The buttons are so stunning. I love the buttons. And this has a beautiful A-line fit to it. It's nice and thick. And I got this in a size extra, extra small, which it actually fits perfectly even with layering thicker knits underneath it. And it's really beautiful. And the lapels are wider and it ends at my natural waistline. So I think it's a very flattering cut for an outerwear piece. And the length of it is right like mid thigh or a little bit below, like a few inches above my knees, somewhere around there, which is also a very flattering length if you're petite and this color is beautiful. Next up is another mango coat surprise surprise this one is in this beautiful cream color which for a wool blended coat this is the most beautiful cream color i've ever came across it has these beautiful dark brown buttons it has this really cute pocket right in the front around the chest and i really like how that looks i think it kind of gives them really preppy vibe to it which i like and the collar on this is also just stunning and well made pockets are really nice as well they have that flap that's like extra thick and big which i think is a cute detail and the length of this is around knee length again and if you noticed i love that length if you're petite it's just very flattering and i believe this also comes in a black color which is also very classic good staple so if you like this fit it has multiple colors okay last wool blended outerwear piece is actually a wool blended blazer coat this is by abercrombie and I have this in a extra small petite. This is definitely a little bit more looser slash structured oversized, kind of that fit, hard to describe. I have it in this creamy color. Also a really pretty gorgeous fit. The lapels are about like medium width and it has two button closures around the waistline. This is around mid thigh in length. Also very flattering, comes in many colors. It's a really good staple if you're looking for maybe a wool blended blazer, so something you can wear to work, but stay really warm in. It is pretty thick and warm, so just FYI. And it has a lining on the inside as well. So beautiful coat, love this one. And now let's get into something more practical to wear. So a puffer jacket. I get so many requests to recommend a puffer jacket jacket and I've tried three different kinds. This one is my favorite. This is actually the Lululemon Wonder Train cropped puffer jacket. So I was really particular on picking what kind of puffer jacket to have and recommend. I wanted the hood to be detachable. I also wanted it to be cropped not too cropped and i want it to be puffy but not too puffy where i look just like a marshmallow so even though that can still be really cute and comfy but it can end up being too uncomfortable if it's like really puffy for a puffer jacket this one checks off all those boxes it is a splurge i have to say it is a splurge it's lululemon but the quality i have to say is phenomenal and if you live i would say this is worth it if you live in a climate like I do. Washington State, it's always cold, wet, and rainy. Something like this, for me, personally, is totally worth it because the cost per wear 
will be super low over time especially if you just get a good quality one you have it forever you don't have to repurchase it and of course have it fit really well too this is my top recommendation like this is just so amazing it also is practical but stylish at the same time it comes a little bit uh wide kind of like in the back but it has these ties on the side where you can cinch in the bottom to make it tighter. So that's great too, especially if you're trying to keep your back warm and not get cold air exposed to it. Um, that's a really good feature it has. Last and final jacket is something really edgy. This is a biker jacket, leather biker jacket. Yeah, leather biker jacket. <laughs> And I love it. It's black with the gold hardware. It just makes it look so expensive. The quality is amazing. This is also faux leather, by the way. This is by the brand Blank NYC. I have it in a size extra small. I actually got this during the Nordstrom sale back in the summertime, and I was able to save a good amount on it, which was nice. And uh, this is definitely something that you don't have to have in your wardrobe, but if you're one to collect outerwear pieces, you wear them often, it's just your style. I really like like this one if you're looking for a leather jacket so those were all of my outerwear pieces for fall and winter time these are my absolute tried and true favorite pieces that i feel like are petite friendly very stylish and very practical at the same time the practical part is important because we want to wear them in our day-to-day -day life so as always i have everything linked in the description box if you want to check anything out again size measurements all that is written down there as well for your reference don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye